Okay, today we're going to learn a comic book a website called readcomics.net, which has a pretty large extension of digital comics, and we're going to convert it, convert one of those comics into a PDF, very short program. Um, first place we're going to go is a website, tiny.cc slash comic download. This is a way to shorten a web page name so it's more easy to remember. Tiny.cc comic downloads a lot easier to remember than comicbookzest.blogspot.com. If anybody's wondered what a shortened URL is. Um, from here, we're going to choose two items. We're going to choose this of the readcomics.net and the readcomics.net spreadsheet. So we're going to open that first. Then we're going to go ahead and open the spreadsheet. We want to get that open, it doesn't need time to load. It is an actual scraper, so it downloads a lot of information from the web. Now I'm going to choose a comic. You can play with the web page all you want, but we'll choose the comic Darth Vader because I've never read a Darth Vader comic before and truly have no desire to. Okay, this particular page. As it says 19, so it's usually, actually it's right here, page 1 of 24. So it's a 24-page comic book. And it's something to note. All right, so we at that point, we copy the URL. Copy. Control-C would do just as well. And then we go to the comic book straight page, and we paste that. URL into there. All right, so we're looking for a 24 page comic book. So we go over to the next tab at the bottom of the spreadsheet. And we're going to choose this row B. Column B, rather. We're going to copy, highlight all this all the way down to page 24 of the comic. That's where we determined how big the comic book was. We got it marked page 24. And we're going to copy that information. At that point, we're going to go back to the main stream of comic book zest. We're going to delete all this in this white box down here. And then we're going to paste that information we got from the readcomics.net spreadsheet. And we're going to hit the display button. Display button brings back what is now can be converted into a PDF. It's a web page. All the way down to page 24. Good news. I think Aquaman's coming back. Oh, Black Mana. We're going to right click on this page and we're going to choose the print option. We are at that point going to save this file. Brings up pretty easy and we're going to name it. I've already done this once so we're going to rename it Darth Vader number 19. A. And we're going to save the comic. All right. I have my computer that everything I have sets up pretty simply in a um, my download file. We're going to the Darth Vader number 19A. I prefer to open my PDFs with Adobe Reader instead of the new Microsoft Edge. That's the default for Windows 10. And we got the whole comic book stored here. Nice large size so you can read offline. You can put this on your phone. You can put this on a memory stick. 
And as long as Adobe Acrobat Reader or other PDF readers are available, you will have the comic book stored permanently or temporarily, however you choose to do it. Hope that helps some people. Um, if anybody sees any pages, other comic book pages they want to develop a um, scraper slash downloader for, let, let me know that I've chosen two so far. HelloComic.com, ReadComics.net is the second one, and I'm working on a new, I've just completed a new one, I just haven't posted it yet, um, to... Um, a site called viewcomics.com that is another pretty good source seems to have some more British comics in it that are um, not as common here in the United States